Hey, what's up guys? Nick here. We're back again with another Daily December video. We are doing very well so far. Today is the 8th of December, so we're 8 days in. It's kind of unbelievable, to be honest with you. I have to say, making daily content is a bit of a struggle, as thinking of ideas and stuff like that is pretty damn difficult. Thinking of ideas is definitely the hardest part about making YouTube videos as a whole. You might be able to make great videos, but having that initial idea. But today's video is going to be me playing some Halo 3 BTB and kind of talking about why people love Halo 3 so much, because in my opinion, Halo 3 is the most popular Halo game by far. It is basically unquestioned. The intro clip of today's video is a very good indicator to why I personally love Halo 3. Just so much random stuff happens all the time. That literally happened yesterday while playing online with my friends. So it's just crazy stuff all the time with this game. Okay, so Halo 3 is a very special game for a lot of people. I almost feel like everyone at some point in their life has played this game. It's one of those games that everyone has given a go or touched or had some impact on their childhood to some degree. That Warthog is worrying me. Get away. Leave me alone. I'll sit here in my bubble. And the exact same goes for me. Whenever I was 14, 15, around that age, I played a lot of Halo 3 with my friends. I would come home from school, do nothing but play this game over and over and over again. Maybe it was campaign, maybe it was custom games, we just played online. No matter what it was, I was having a blast with my friends. I nearly legit just walked into that. Get away from me. But what is it about this game? What makes it so damn special to people? And I've been trying to work this out for the longest time and it's bit of a hard question. It's not something you can simply just answer because, well, the answer is different for everyone. So I'm going to give my answer. I'm going to give the reasoning for why I think it's such a special game because obviously I can't talk for everyone. Halo 3 is one of those games that is so simple yet so complex at the same time depending on how you play the game. There are so many little things you can do with this game to make it something completely different from what you were originally playing. Now a really simple example of this, say you and your friend are on Among Us and one of you has a brute shot sitting on the back. You could be driving along trying to kill people or your friend could turn your Among Us into a drivable missile. It could just be something you could fling at people instead of firing your weapon. I'll put a little example clip on the screen right now of me doing this with a friend and just flying ourselves across the map. But I have so many awesome memories of just turning our Among Us into a rocket ship, just flying it across the map in hopes of trying to splatter someone. Or the clip at the beginning of this video where I went to betray my friend and I accidentally sniped someone across the map and then I got a second person for the double kill. Like, this was amazing. I wish I had my reaction recorded because I literally lost my mind. I, I freaked out. Halo 3 is more than just a shooter game. It feels like it almost has little secrets for the players to figure out that are not immediately obvious, but if you can look deeper, if you try and experiment with the game, you can turn this game into so much more than what it was probably originally intended or what they even thought was possible. But I have to admit that goes for more than just Halo 3. Every Halo game, in my opinion, has a little fun quirk about it. It has something unique about it that the players can explore and have a lot of fun with. But for me, with Halo 3, it's just that game that I could always jump on and guarantee having a good time with my friends. If I'm playing Halo 3, it's almost guaranteed that I'm crying laughing by the end of that play session. My personal favorite memories are playing custom games with my friends in Halo 3 after we got home from school every day. Like, those days will just probably never be beat, in my opinion. Yes, I can jump into customs and have fun nowadays, but it was just different. It was just something special about that time period where I would have no worries, I would have nothing to worry about, I would just get home and try not to die in infection. But I want you guys to drop a comment down below if you have a favorite moment from Halo 3 or any Halo game as a whole, but this video is mainly about Halo 3, so if you can keep it about that, I'd appreciate it. But if you have one special favorite moment from this game, what is it? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to know what your favorite thing you've ever done in this game is. I can't stop thinking about that brute shot in the back of the Mongoose thing now. Maybe I should make a video where I try and get some kills of that, or where I make a collab video with someone where we just do that the entire time and see what happens. But I always see people wanting Halo to be as popular as Halo 3 again, and I just, I don't know if that's possible. I really don't know if, uh, if it's possible for a game to be quite like Halo 3, because it was so special in its time period. Back in 2007 to like 2008, there was no real big competition for this game, in my opinion. And by competition, I know there was Call of Duty, which is really popular and stuff like that, but no game had the Forge and custom game capabilities that this game had, and I had no idea this sword was over here. Enemy team, it is literally game over. Oh, you trying to, trying to take me on, buddy? Gonna sneak up with my sword. Nobody panic, nobody worry. I'm just gonna come stab everyone. Hello there, level 30 wizard. How are you doing? Oh my god, there's so many people here. Uh, I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried. Oh, 
Dude, I literally choked. There were so many people there. But saying that, it doesn't mean that future Halo games, i.e. Halo Infinite, cannot be a ridiculously popular game in its own right. If you look at other games, they are going completely worldwide. Like, even if people don't play games, they talk about Fortnite, for example. But people still talk about Halo. They still look back on Halo with very, very fond memories. That's something I've definitely noticed on Twitter over the past few weeks as Halo has had a bit, of, a bit of a resurgence, I would like to say. Even though I said that I don't think Halo 3's popularity can ever be replicated, it does not mean that I don't think Halo Infinite cannot be a ridiculously popular game in its own right. I really, really, really have a lot of faith that 343 are going to make a really, really sick game. This Warthog needs to move on, dude. Oh, they've spotted me. Oh, teammate. We're in a really bad situation here, dude. I need to grab the sniper rifle. Give me that. Oh, that was really close. All right, where is this Warthog? Give me, let me get an angle on this gunner. There you go. Oh, that was perfectly executed. Bruh, you survived? I'm actually mad. Die, friend. There you go. I actually dealt with that situation extremely well. Well done, Nick. Pat on the back. But I really do think that Infinite is going to turn out to be a really fantastic game. I just have a lot of a lot of good faith. I have a really, really good thought about that game, to be honest with you. Even though it might be misplaced or I might just be too excited about the new Halo game, I just cannot wait for it. I am so, so excited for that game to come out. As a content creator, as a Halo fan, as just someone that wants to play new Halo, it's going to be an absolute blast and I cannot wait for all of us to get to share that kind of new experience. There's nothing better than whenever a brand new Halo game comes out. It's probably the most hyped thing in the world for me. I mean, I 100% plan on doing nothing but streaming after that game comes out. I'll be streaming basically 24 hours all the time. And of course, daily uploads, that's gonna be 1 million percent a thing. Whenever that game comes out, the hype of Halo is gonna fully take over. But to be fair, it already kind of has, even though I've been playing Halo for 11 years now or 10 years, something like that. I think it's about 10 years since I first played a Halo game. I still love this game. I still love this franchise basically the exact same if not even more than whenever I first started making videos and making content on this franchise just makes me enjoy it even more so because I get to look at the game in a whole new perspective I get to look at every side of it and see why people enjoy it so I get to see the campaign I get to see the multiplayer I get to read people's comments on why they love this game and why it means so much great driving teammate what are you doing oh my bruh might be the worst driver I have ever seen all right teammate don't worry I'll come with you buddy I will make sure you get to the bomb zone unharmed. It was the last thing that I do. I'll go first, check the area, clear it out. Hello, anyone here? Let me kill you real quick. No, he had a shotgun. I got you, teammate. I cleared him out for you, buddy. Go in, get in there. Yes. That was actually very well done, not gonna lie. I'm very happy with myself. But you also make some really, really unique connections in Halo 3. I, I find in the game chat especially, you can be playing away at a game and then all of a sudden, you make a best friend out of nowhere for this guy just talking away in the game chat. It's not always positive. It's, it's definitely not always nice stuff they're saying, but sometimes it can be, you know, pretty nice. Okay, my sniper is back over there. I know exactly where it's sitting, but I'm gonna run and get it, teammate. Come on, buddy. I'm not leaving you behind. My flame-headed friend. Oh my, it's a warthog. Yep, we're moving on. Did he get out? Bro, and he focused on me? Are you kidding me? Did my teammate at least survive? Yes, he did. Well done, guys. I can't believe I died there. Ow, what are you doing? What do you want from me? I was just saying how you make some random friends online and he goes and does that. Get away from me, you monster. Sorry, didn't mean it. Woo! Let me on your ghost. Ah! We're fine, we're chilling. Not even worried about it. Hello there, enemies. Oh! No, you had a rocket? Oh my god. Where are you going, bro? You know, you're you old, dude. You need to run the other way, buddy. No. Oh, he's old. He doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, no. These damn Halo kids to kill me. I'm running the bomb. To be fair, I think we've all been there where we've run the bomb or the flag or something to the wrong end of the map. It's very, very annoying whenever we do that. No, dude. If I could have done that, I would have felt so... Yeah, teabag me. Yeah, hope it's worth it. Hope it's worth it. Hey, there you go. We need one more bomb plant. We can do this, team. We can do this. I believe in all of us. Hey, we won. Let's go, team. Well done, everyone. I'm proud of you all. All right, guys. That's going to do it for the video. Hopefully, all of you enjoyed hearing about why I love playing Halo 3. So let me know in the comments down below why all of you enjoy this game. If you do. Some of you might not enjoy this game whatsoever, and that's fine. But if you do, let me know in the comment. I would love to read as many as I can. And if you really enjoyed, make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're brand new. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Do we charge my fellow good sires? We're charging. But I don't want this. Oh my. Let's go, Ubernik. You have jumped into the passenger seat, unfortunately. You have fucked me. No. <laughs> <laughs>